for you! Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and the phrasmotically indefatigable Captain Slug has once again sent to me... a thing. He has sent me a hyper. His latest creation. It is a hammer-primed, single-shot, 3D-printed plus hardware kit, elastic band-powered pistol. And I think it's really, really cool. As far as I know, it uses the exact same hardware kit as the Whisper. So, if you have a 3D printer, you can order the parts for that, and it, it will work for that. It seems to be the exact same plunger tube, say rubber band. Um, it, I don't know that it uses all of the same parts. Like the, I don't think it uses the same uh, catch up here, but it's the same tube and the same rubber bands and the same screws and all of that. I could be entirely wrong about that, but I'm, I'm fairly certain they're fairly similar. Anyway... Um, the big advantage of this one over this one is the hammer prime. Now, having a hammer prime on a single shot pistol would seem a bit superfluous, but the amount of time that it saves from um, being able to prime it single handed while, say, drawing a dart from your dump pouch uh, is actually considerable over the time it would take you to draw from here and then have to prime it here. So, uh, I think that is definitely a, a design improvement for single shot pistols. It would still be useful in, say, a pistol round because this thing does hit a hundred FPS when you have all four bands on the hammer. So we put all four bands up there. The prime is fairly beefy, but it will hit a hundred FPS. If you lower one of the bands, it drops it by about 10 FPS. And if you drop the next one, it drops it by another 10 FPS, but it's much easier to prime. So um, I don't know what kind of uh, differences a longer barrel might make. I doubt it really has the plunger volume to be able to fire a rocket, but I, I might be willing to try it. I would need a longer barrel uh, or a, a cap that went on there. Hmm. And I may have to make this modular. <laughs> been wanting to do that to this one anyway. This one does seem to have a longer draw. So hypothetically, this one might have more power, um, but we are going to take them and test them against each other. First, here at my chronograph, and then I will take it out to the range and we'll fling some foam with the two of them. Uh, this one definitely is going to have a better sight picture. It looks like he put sights and then put top Picatinny rail that blocks them. Anyway, it still should have a much better sight picture than this one does. I might actually be able to hit something with it. All right, let's get those chronograph numbers. All right, gonna give it five shots each using Adventure Force waffles. We will start with the whisper. See what kind of numbers we get out of it. 70. Rubber band may, or the, the elastic may be starting to get a little bit worn on this one. Well, I missed. Error. 88. 93. 90. But not bad. Not bad. We're going to try this one with all the bands up. Just because I'm interested in max performance. Oh. Here we go. 96. 95. 92. 94. And finally, 93. So, mid to low 90s, not too bad. Obviously, dart choice would make a difference. I used Adventure Force just to on all of them to compare. Obviously, lighter darts are going to go faster, but might not be as accurate. Short darts might go a little faster because they've got less mass. Who knows? But that's the kind of power you're getting. Let's go see if I can hit anything with either of them. All right. Well, I have the two blasters. I'm here in my range. I've got a number of targets. I've got one set up here at about 15, and then of course the 225. We'll see if I get what. It, <laughs> we'll see how long it takes me to get a hit with this one. Go ahead and put your guesses. How long is it going to take me to hit 25 feet with this blaster? How many shots? I'm guessing five. One. Two. Come on, in the middle. Ah! Three! 
four, four shots. One less than I thought. All right. Let's see how long it takes to get a hit with this one. Oh. Train. Two. Two shots. I like it. This one actually has a side picture. I'm going to shoot it some more. Aha. A real close one. <laughs> and back to the first. Oh. Ah, I hit the one behind it. Lovely. All right. Now for the real accuracy challenge with this. I have, here comes that train. How dare you? Not doing that gag again. Right, now for the audience participation portion of this. I'm going to be borrowing an idea from the uh, good fellows over at How Ridiculous and having a contest. I have set up a target here at 15 feet. It's one of these self-resetting targets. And the contest is to guess how many shots is it going to take me to hit all four of them. I've been having some issues as they keep going down and popping back up. Hopefully that will stop. But put your guess down in the description and whoever gets it right will get pinned. Here we go. Only your first guess counts. I got him. Two of them did bounce back up, but I'm counting that anyway. I would guess high if I were you. Go wield! I got them both! <laughs> Talk about it some more. So, final thoughts. I love it. Uh, I really, really like it. For a, for a single shot pistol, having it be hammer primed is really a neat feature. As far as I know, it's the only one out there, other than if you like singled a hammer primed blaster. Um, but that would be really useful, like I said, in pistol rounds. It was definitely a lot easier to reload this one as compared to this one, uh, or to, to reprime it, anyway. Um, it took one less step, essentially, and I, and I really like that. I like that it's got top rail. It does also have screws for lower rail, but mine didn't come with one. Uh, but that's easy enough, because Captain Slug makes all of his stuff available, as far as I know. This one's probably available. Um... But yeah, it has many advantages over the Whisper, but the coolest thing is that if you already have a Whisper, you can just print this and swap the hardware over. And that is by far the coolest feature, in my opinion, the fact that it's cross-compatible. That's just neat. Um, on an aesthetic note, this is one of my favorite 3D-printed orange colors I have yet to see. It is a dark, burnt orange. It's very similar to the ones that I do on, like... My personal blasters, it's a little bit lighter, but it's much closer than the neon orange. And uh, that's pretty cool. So, Captain Slug, if you're watching this, if you ever send me anything again, this orange. Yeah, good stuff. Bird, bird in my shop. How dare you? All right, I think that's enough blathering. The hyper, super cool. I like it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sending me stuff, Captain Slug. You, sir, are awesome.